Everybody has issues with their lawn from time to time and my lawn here was no different. And so in this fourth part of this series, we wanted to look at the steps that we've taken from our spring seeding to our summer management to now what we'll do this fall to make sure we'll have a great lawn uh, for years to come. And the, uh, the first thing we did is we needed to assess why is this lawn failing? What are the problems that I had with it uh, that wanted me to, to renovate it in the first place? And to kind of recap, uh, the first problem we had was we had some big dog spots. I have a large dog and I had a lot of dead grass because of him. Uh, we also had issues with shade, which we can really see in the fall as the sun angle is a little bit lower. Uh, we had some ruts and so, and then we had bluegrass, which is a grass that requires a little bit more maintenance than I wanted to put into it. So this spring we took the task of, you know, trying to renovate this lawn with a new variety of turf type tall fescue. And some of the steps that, steps that we did was to uh, scalp down the lawn, uh, go buy some quality seed and then cut that seed in with a good uh, seeding machine over seeder. Uh, we rounded up the, the bluegrass that was there uh, and then we controlled weeds with, uh, with some pre-emergent and post-emergent herbicide which is essential for our spring seeding to be successful. Then I fertilized a couple times this year and kept it watered and you know the lawn came in really really well. Um, the uh, yeah, we struggled with some summer diseases, which is typical when you spring seed, and now the fall is here, and uh, we have a couple little spots, and we're going to want to fix those spots because the weather is really ideal this time of year to, to seed uh, any kind of problems we may have uh, encountered from uh, the growing conditions this summer. And so what we're going to want to do is uh, go into those little areas, be it a dog spot, an area of disease, uh, some, some death, uh, maybe from a slip and slide in the heat of the summer, uh, rake up that area, uh, put that seed into the ground, kind of bury it maybe a quarter inch deep, sprinkle a little starter fertilizer onto it, and then keep it watered. If it's a small spot, consider just using a hand can and watering a couple times of the day. Um, if our lawn is just thin, let's consider putting down some fertilizer to really help to build uh, that density. The grass is really loving the weather conditions we have right now with the drier air, uh, the cool nights, and our cool season grasses are really starting to, to flourish. And so going out with some fertilizer in September is probably the best application we can do each year to recover from that summer stress and get us on course to, to have a great lawn next year. Finally, if we do get a lot of weeds this year, if they're annual summer weeds like crabgrass, uh, we can go out and do nothing because they're gonna die soon and they're really hard to control. And so if we have crabgrass or any other annual weeds, we'll continue to mow it. If we have broadleaf problems with perennial weeds like uh, like bank grass or creeping charlie, now is when we'll start to make successive applications of, uh, of herbicides to kill those weeds. And so using these steps, we can have a nice great lawn into the future.